All right, so we're at Project Weather Eye headquarters here in Stoughton, Wisconsin. And on the big screen behind me, we've got our live streaming system here, pulling in the data from our weather balloon that we launched about a half an hour ago. And you can see this thing's already way up over here, over Reeseville, Wisconsin. It's moving, uh, let's see, we got about nearly 100 mile per hour winds up there at about 25,000 feet. Uh, we've got temperatures all the way down to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Dew points are about negative 38. So it's pretty dry up there as to be expected. Our rate of ascent is still at about 9.3 miles per hour up. It's starting to slow down a little bit, but we're roughly right around that four to five to six meters per second. So we'll call this a positive launch. And our pressure just hit 378 millibars, which means we're over that 400 millibar threshold. So this is a good launch no matter what happens from this point on. So we can actually look at that sounding here and that skew T. So this is what our skew T looks like right now. Uh, you can see we've actually got a little bit of an inversion going on there. So this is kind of a classic winter sloppy mess precipitation uh, sounding where that drier profile is above the storms. We had some storms right around here, uh, right about 15, 16,000 feet with tops that we looked at on radar. And once it gets above that, it's drying out quite a bit. So we had a couple of uh, issues and frustrations today. You'll notice two helium tanks and they're not the size we normally use. Reason being, uh, this one came out of my truck and I thought we had just enough to get another launch in, but we had just that much, not enough. The air gas truck didn't show up. So I had to run to air gas and uh, get a tank that we didn't need, but we'll still use it. Uh, this is a smaller tank and I can manhandle this one. This one weighs about 100 to 110 pounds. This one is more like 160 pounds. So I chose to get the one that we can manhandle a little easier. So we actually had to abandon ship, leave the balloon just tied off on a shoreline here, but we got it filled the rest of the way went and launched it. We've been covering it live. We're seeing the data stream in live.